integrity of sport at stake over doping. Katie Ellender had been waiting for an Olympic medal that seems most unlikely to come her way. So now she's seeking something more. After the Court of Arbitration for Sport decided Thursday to overturn the Olympic bans of 28 Russian athletes who were accused of doping at the Sochi Games four years ago, Ellender, a veteran U.S. women's skeleton racer who was in line to be awarded a medal as a result of those bans, reiterated her plea that clean athletes must be protected. I can say without a doubt, the integrity of sport is on the line, Ellender said from South Korea shortly after the cast decision was posted. And I'm looking to the leaders of a movement to do something to save it. Skeleton, the sliding sport where competitors go headfirst down an icy track at speeds often exceeding 80 miles per hour, has been highly affected by the Sochi doping scandal. Olympic men's gold medalist Alexander Treshikov and women's bronze medalist Elena Nikotina were among the 28 Russians whose results from the Sochi Games were reinstated by the cast decision. It's still unclear if Treshikov, Nikotina or any of the other now unbanned Russians will be allowed to compete at the Pyeongchan Games, which open next week. The International Olympic Committee said the cast decision does not automatically mean any of the Russians on the list will be invited to South Korea, but Nikotina said she is training with plans of going to the Games. I gained a lot of enemies even in our own country, who were writing on social media you had it coming, you shouldn't have doped, Nikotina said. There are plenty of fools everywhere. But we managed to deal with it. Treshiakov who would likely be a gold medal contender again if he is permitted to compete in Pyeongchang, sounded less certain about his Olympic future. I don't know what chances there are to go the Olympic Games, he told Russian state television. Some of the bans handed down by the IAC after a long probe of what was described as a state-sponsored doping program remain largely in effect. The U.S. still seems likely to move up from the bronze medal spot to silver positions in two- and four-man bobsledding since Cass said there was enough evidence to say that Russian bobsled pilot Alexander Zubkov did commit a doping violation in Sochi. That affirmed the IAC decision to disqualify Zubkov from his two gold medal wins. But Nikotina, who wore her Russian national team jacket to a training session just outside of Moscow on Thursday after the Cass decision came out is now in position to keep her bronze medal, although the IAC said it may take the highly unusual step of appealing Cass' decision to the Swiss Supreme Court. That won't happen until Cass releases more details on why it ruled the way it did Thursday, and it's unknown how long that process will take. I have believed in and worked hard to exemplify the Olympic movement with integrity, honor and respect to my competitors, Ellender said. I believe in sport helping the world and allowing a nation to keep medals when they destroyed samples with that goal in mind. Feels like we are letting them get away with it. It's bigger than a medal, it's the spirit and integrity of sport. Underscore Reynolds reported from Miami. App sports writer James Illingworth in Moscow and Associated Press reporter Sergei Fedotov in Krasnogorsk, Russia, contributed to this report.